Are you vitamin D deficient? Did you know that about 40% of the U.S. population is vitamin D deficient? And here's something even more shocking. Nearly 80% of Black Americans and 70% of Hispanic Americans are affected. Could you be one of them? Hi, I'm Dr. Uwaila, the health and beauty pharmacist. In today's video, we're going to explore everything you need to know about vitamin D, what it is, the seven signs of deficiency, and who is most at risk. Stick around. A few of those might surprise you, especially the fifth one. Let's start with the basics. What is vitamin D? Well, it's more than just a vitamin. It's actually considered a hormone. With recent research, it's clear that vitamin D plays a huge role in our overall health and is far too underestimated. There are two main forms of vitamin D. First, we have vitamin D2, also known as ergocalciferol. This is the inactive form and is derived from plants. Then there's the vitamin D3, or calciferol, which is the active form. Our bodies produce D3 naturally when our skin is exposed to sunlight, hence the nickname, the sunshine vitamin. You can also get vitamin D3 from animal-based foods, which we'll discuss in a later video. Now let's talk about the seven key signs of vitamin D deficiency. You might recognize some of these in yourself or someone you may know. Number one, fatigue. Feeling more tired than usual, even after a good night's sleep. Number two, frequent illnesses. A weakened immune system makes it harder to fight off infections. Number three, bone pain and muscle weakness. You might feel aches or stiffness that won't go away. Number four, slow wound healing. Cuts or scrapes taking longer than normal to heal. It could be linked to vitamin D levels. And number five, mood changes. This includes feelings of sadness, depression, or even anxiety. Number six, hair loss. In more severe cases, a lack of vitamin D can contribute to hair thinning or even shedding. And number seven, bone fractures. Over time, low vitamin D can lead to weaker bones and a higher risk of osteoporosis. That fifth one, mood changes, really surprises a lot of people. You wouldn't imagine how many people come in with signs of depression, anxiety, and in fact, it's because their vitamin D levels are low. It's not something we often associate with vitamin deficiency, but it's something we must look into. So who's most at risk for vitamin D deficiency? Let's break it down. So those with limited sun exposure, if you're not getting outside enough, your body isn't producing enough vitamin D. Darker skin tones. So melanin reduces the skin's ability to make vitamin D from sunlight. So black and Hispanic individuals are at higher risk or anyone who has more melanin, the more melanin you have in your skin, the higher risk you are at having vitamin D deficiency. Older adults. Older adults are also at risk at lower vitamin D levels because as we age, our skin's ability to create vitamin D decreases. As we age, certain health conditions like kidney or liver disease is more prevalent, and that can also increase the risk of having low vitamin D levels. Sunscreen use is also a reason your vitamin D levels can be low. While sunscreen is critical for skin health, it can block vitamin D production if used excessively. Indoor lifestyles, we kind of touched on this before, spending more time indoors, whether working from home or just avoiding the sun can lower your levels significantly. If any of these sound familiar, it's worth considering your vitamin D intake. In my upcoming video, I'll share the best ways to increase your vitamin D levels from foods to supplements and safe sun exposure tips. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss it. And remember, stay healthy, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in the next video.